Hi everybody, Wendy here, founder of Inspire Cosmetics, and welcome to Inspire Cosmetics Consultant Training, where we are gonna turn you all into the master successful consultant makeup artist ladies you're gonna be. We've got Nadia and Nadia. <laughs> so it's quite exciting, we've got two Nadia. We've got one veteran, you're kind of a veteran, we're re retraining consulting. So we're here to kind of inspire and get you all going there at home who are gonna be jumping on board with us. So welcome to Inspire Cosmetics again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna explain a couple of the training materials you've received in the mail and you guys have received here in person so that we know what we're looking at and how we're gonna execute this training right out. So first thing you're gonna notice, you've got about five to six pages of product descriptions. These are gonna give you the actual product photo, what is that product and the five sales features and benefits? Those sales features and benefits are going to come in handy when we get to the actual Drab to Fab and Five consultation because you're going to need those benefits and features as you're explaining the product to each person and it's what's going to be able to close that sale for you because you need to explain to people why they want to buy something by utilizing the features and benefits of each product. So for instance, this sheet's got our Ultra Lux brushes and five features and benefits. We've got our makeup remover, its features and benefits, and of course, our ever cult following fantastic product, the Tinted Moisturizer, yay! So that's that one there. Next, we have got the how to pick the perfect shade and color product for your clients. So making the corrector stick and two-way powder application of what color do I use on this person? Very, very simple. To be totally honest, this is actually one of the simplest things to do and it's probably one of the most stressful things consultants come on board worried about doing is how do I pick the right corrector color? How do I do this? We're gonna teach you how today. So this is gonna give you a breakdown of each color. So silky beige to cream beige. We've got cream to sand. We've got dune to bronze beige. Sandy to golden honey, bronze beige, or excuse me, hazelnut to Dutch chocolate. Then what in here is we have the actual proper flow of the consultation, how to greet and meet our clients and we want to follow the plus key actions. We call it probe, listen, understand, show, and secure. There's two other terminologies we're going to be using in there as well. It's called pre-framing and deframing. So I'm going to explain what each one of those do and how it's going to benefit you in closing that sale every single time you do a consultation. So by asking probing open-ended questions, that's what we have here. Sample probing open-ended questions. Now, it is extremely important to understand the difference between open-ended and closed-ended questions. What is the difference between those, Nadia? Well, an open-ended question is when you ask somebody a question and it allows them to explain it. But a closed-ended question is when you ask somebody a question and they answer with a yes or a no. So did we all understand it at home? An open-ended question, I'm going to give you an example. Nadia happens to be an awesome flight attendant for Air Canada. So I can ask Nadia, tell me about what it's like being a flight attendant. And I'm forcing her to answer that question in detail to me. Or I can ask her, do you like being a flight attendant? That was a close-ended question, giving me only a yes or no answer. To be totally honest, to be totally honest the more open-ended questions that you ask your clients, the more control you have of that consultation, the more you will actually get the sale every single time. Because you will also be able to understand your clients a lot better, right? And they'll also feel like you're plugging into them, which is extremely important. Then we're going to talk about when to bring out the, the close-ended question and if there's actually a proper time to bring it out and how to properly close that sale. So that's exactly what these materials are. Next, we've got our ever-important knocking stuff over. Points to follow. This is extremely, extremely important into the client. So the beginning, beginning, beginning part of the consultation before we even bring out a product to show them is we need to get the client in the chair. How do we get the consultation? This is how. So first thing we have is our actual points to follow and that's our pitch statements and our opening questions to get people sitting in the chair. So our pitch statements or our tagline statements as we say are... Go from job to fab and five. Go from tired to inspired. Those are just two of the many we have. Take the Inspire Challenge today. We all know what the Inspire Challenge is. As we say, some of you at home probably already know because we've done it to you too. But the Inspire Challenge is, is when we have ladies walk up at our shows that already have a full face of makeup on, they're like, no, thank you. Sit down, let's take the Inspire Challenge. If we can put our makeup on you and make you look even better, you should have started with our product to begin with. Okay, that's how we take the Inspire Challenge. We're gonna get the fresh and flawless look you desire, look right in any light with Inspire, and developed, of course, by Ford Model. Developed by an industry Ford Model, somebody that knows what products actually exist, is gonna make the big difference for you guys and is a credible selling feature in the development of the line. 
Next, we've got the pitch statements. How do I get the person to sit in the chair? So we've got taglines that we can say when we're doing the consultation. Remembering these taglines is extremely fun and the more anecdotal or personal stories you can give to people in regards to the product and your experiences with Inspire will also make the sell happen that much more. So some of our pitch statements are, how would you like to be inspired? Would you like to look 10 years younger? Who wouldn't want to look 10 years younger? How would you like to go from draft to fab in five? Would you like to feel fresh and flawless? Let's try it out and you tell me you don't like breathable, flawless, fresh skin and to look fantastic standing in line when your ex-boyfriend's standing there behind you. So these are the awesome ways to get people to sit in that chair and say yes to the consultation. So we're going to be right back and show you how to execute that consultation now that you got the client in the chair.